Lawrence Corey, native New Yorker here. New York City is a great space for advertising. Here we are in the harder, perhaps the anus of the city, Times Square. A place so infested with shit and filth. A place so stinking and repugnant and atrocious. You can't help but love it. The same way you love a little bit of poop stuck on your finger. The same way I love you. Here in Times Square, big league companies put up fancy billboards that advertise everything from pet food to sporting goods to stylish apparel for correctional officers. <gasps> However, unfortunately, the renters of these advertising spaces follow similar sets of guidelines as the landlords of this city, charging obscene amounts of money that can only be substituted in the form of tasteless but inventive sexual favors. As you might have presumed, the well of my own various bodily fluids is lamentably dried up on my own superintendent and landlord's needs, which are often extreme. So, in order to advertise, I utilize an inexpensive and convenient service right here in the bowels of my hometown. The service is so cheap, it's actually free. The service is so cheap, it's actually free. Take it from Lawrence Corey. So you see, all the couriers of my sacred messages are underage, and therefore not legally allowed to work, and therefore not legally allowed to get paid. And therefore, they run and twist invisible in the night compensated only by the sporadic friendships they form with demented vagrants and bloated rats along their journeys through New York City's sewer system. Now, believe it or not, this courier system is not without its own union, which provides it benefits such as dental insurance, free snacks, and cold brew coffee. And perhaps, best of all, are the occasional beams of light that seep through the grates to make the gelatinous muck on which they travel sparkle magical in the underground twilight. Today, we'll be speaking with one of these couriers, getting the inside scoop on his daily routine. job description is enduring a perpetual cycle of tattoos. See, these couriers use their supple, unblemished flesh as advertising space for smaller, emerging companies in New York that lack either the funds or virility for big time advertising. Take that! What's that? What's that, you ask? What happens when they use up all the space on their bodies? Well, conveniently, these couriers die out long before they run out of space on their bodies, either by a separate cleaver <coughs> such as the one you see here, more. Sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> Some form of dysentery or polio, which actually is airborne in the sewers of Manhattan, and their young bodies are donated to science or the Museum of Modern Art. Although he's on the verge of dying in considerable pain, I think this pony's got one more ride left in him, huh? I'll send him through the sewer with one final message before he succumbs to his foul illness.
I don't get you no sales, nothing will. <laughs>